and welcome back to Frames and Forge YouTube. I'm just going to do a quick little film. A few people have asked me, and I'm just going to show you an easy way of pegging out and then setting out on welding tables and some of the useful things that we've done. So when people are setting up their workshop, I'm not everyone can afford to go and buy a massive great big peg table like this. I mean, I use this quite a lot, big pins going in, we can bend the metal around, but that weighs about three tonne. But if you have a look in here, I'll show you when I first started. I couldn't afford a peg table, and we use this all the time anyway, and it's a smart way of doing things. So I've got a smaller peg table there, which I use, and I just drop the pins in the holes, and I weld on it. But when I've got a workshop and I do big work, and it's not, it's not a massive workshop, it is compared to other people's, but everything's on wheels, so we can wheel it away. But we use this, look, and I use it quite a lot. And this plate, plate of steel, it cost me about, I don't know, £2,000 now, it's about 1500 quid. But there's a huge jumbo sheet of steel plate, I put it on the floor. Now I have steel plates around the hammers so we can put hot metal down, but I use this for marking out. When we're doing gates and stuff, it's mild steel, it's 20 mil thick. So when we're doing a gate or anything, I work a square edge off the square of the edge of the sheet and I use a builder square, but then we can tack weld stuff down. And I can tack weld it down so when I'm working on it, it doesn't distort. Now I don't like working on the floor so I won't weld it up on the floor. <coughs> what I'll do is I'll use this for straightening and squaring up. And then also when we're forging on the big hammer, 20 mil is thick enough that when you're forging red hot bar and you lay it down, it doesn't really distort much. If you go any thinner, it'll curl up. Now I have welded 25 mil plate like this and it will curl up in the air. So you still can move it. But this has been pretty good. And for my £2,000 investment, I've been using this about 25 years. Man, that's earned a fortune. So it's worth if you can afford a big plate, don't grind great big holes in it, use it to work on on the floor, and then if you get skin, you can cut it up, make something out of it and sell it. And then we wanted a welding table in here, and I don't want a great big welding bay. I've got an extractor fan in the roof, which I'll have to unblock now, because we blocked it up because of the wind. Now, in the winter, we carboard it up so we're not freezing our knickers off. And then in the summer we open up so I've got a fan. And what I've done, I've made a table, which I'll show you, which is really useful to people. So I'll go and get it and I'll wheel it in. So I'll open this door. You'll laugh, everything's on wheels. I'll need a hand to push it. So I go out in the yard. I'll bring it in. shelf empty because I'm going to weld on it. We have welding screens that sit on here. When I'm teaching welding, then I have screens on them. But when we're welding up stuff and we don't want it to store, I use this, which is Flow Forge. And it's brilliant because I put hurdle wheels on here. It's all iron. The plate's earthed. So when I weld it on here, the earth comes through. I will put the earth on the job that we're working on, but it will also earth through the floor and all your welding spatter drops through. You don't have lumps of spatter. If you use a flat plate, one, you don't get a good earth, and two, it raises it up all over the place. And then you can do this, which is really handy. So if you want to bolt a piece down, and you don't want it to distort, and you can't afford a massive great mountain table, this stuff ain't bad. It's, I think a six meter length is about 200 quid. Do this and you do the bolt up underneath. This is a great big long thread, I ain't doing it up all the way. So, if you had a big push here like that, and you're bolting down to hold it, and you can put several on, and then when you're working on it, you can weld it up, your sparks go through there. And you can use this as quite a sturdy table. So there you go, an easy way to make a welding bench. I use it all the time, and then when I don't want it, I just wheel it out of the yard out of my way so I can carry on forging. When the weather's all sunny like this and we want to work outside, 
I'll work on the bench outside on wheel it around the yard. But don't paint on them. If you paint on it, then what happens is you can't get an earth through the table anyway, and it becomes a big problem. It all gets covered in paint. I've got something like this, which is a paint table, which we use, which we've tanked in, and I spray on the top, and it's got an extractor underneath, and it sucks it all down through on a down draft. But we have to keep blasting off every now and again. So in your little shed, if you get a small piece of this, and make yourself a bench, it's the cheapest way of doing it. It's cheaper than a huge great plate. So I hope it helps you out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. You'll see I'll be doing other stuff soon, like making a sheep, which will come out on the next one. I'll put them outside. Nice empty workshop.